Lysosomes. What are lysosomes? And why are they important? Christian de Duva was a Belgian cytologist and biochemist who discovered lysosomes in the year 1955. Lysosomes are prominently known as suicidal bags of the cell or recycle bin. They are present in all animal cells, except erythrocytes, but absent in plant cells. The function of lysosomes in plants is carried out by vacuole and spherosomes. Spherosome is a small plant organelle that stores fat. The vacuolar lumen of the lysosome is enclosed by a single phospholipid bilayer. This diagram showcases the simple structure of a lysosome. It is a sphere-shaped organelle, enclosed by a single phospholipid bilayer. The area within the membrane is called the vacuolar lumen, which houses about 40 types of hydrolytic enzymes, including proteases, nucleases, glycosidases, lipases, phospholipases, phosphatases, and sulfatases. The luminal surface of lysosomal membrane is composed of highly glycosylated proteins. Interlysosomal pH is typically between 4 and 5, and thus lysosome is an acidic compartment. The acidic nature is due to a proton pump, known as vacuolar ADPase, that moves H plus ions across membranes in eukaryotic cells. The lumen is filled with hydrolytic enzymes that act optimally at acidic pH. Hence, they are called acidic hydrolases. Examples include acid phosphatases and cathepsins. Breakdown of lysosomal membrane releases the acid hydrolases into the cytosol, and these lysosomal enzymes become inactive at a cytosolic pH of 7.2 to 7.5. Marker enzymes of lysosome are acid phosphatases and cathepsins. Lysosomes are polymorphic and are found in various forms based on their developmental and functional stages. Types of lysosomes include primary lysosomes, secondary lysosomes, residual bodies, autolysosome. In this figure, we can see how lysosomes pass through various stages in the same cell. Primary lysosomes are formed by new vesicle budding off from the membrane of the transgolgi network. Once the macromolecules, such as food particles, are absorbed into the cell by endocytosis, they are enclosed in a membrane-bound vesicle called a phagosome. Primary lysosome with inactive digestive enzymes fuse with phagosome, thereby forming the secondary lysosome. These particles are then broken down into smaller molecules using hydrolytic enzymes. Lysosomes with undigested materials that are resistant to degradation are called residual bodies, which collide with the plasma membrane to expel the cellular debris outside the cell via effigy. On the other hand, during the process of autophagy, lysosome fuses with an autophagosome containing injured or damaged mitochondrion and forms autolysosome. The residual body containing cell debris is then eliminated out of the cell via effigy. Let's brief out few points about primary lysosomes. The hydrolytic enzymes are synthesized in the rough endoplasmic reticulum and shipped to the Golgi apparatus. These enzymes remain inactive due to lack of acidic medium and are packaged into Golgi vesicles in the form of granules. These newly pinched off vesicles formed from trans-Golgi mature into primary lysosomes. Primary lysosomes are also known as Golgi hydrolase vesicles or storage granules. Secondary lysosomes When primary lysosomes fuse with endosomes, their contents mix and they become fully functional. This fusion product is called endolysosome or secondary lysosome. Secondary lysosome comprises active hydrolytic enzymes due to the acidic environment of the endosome. Phagolysosome is formed by fusion between phagosome and lysosome. Residual bodies. These are the lysosomes with undigested materials, such as remnants of degraded organelles or lipids that are resistant to degradation by hydrolytic enzymes. These are also known as residual or tertiary lysosomes, and are commonly seen in aged or senescent cells. Residual bodies collide with the plasma membrane to expel the cellular debris into the environment via effigy. Sometimes, residual bodies are trapped inside the cells due to some malfunctions, either failure of exocytosis or absence of some hydrolytic enzymes, 
and cause various pathological diseases. Lipofuscin pigment granule is a yellow-brown lipoprotein that accumulates as residual bodies in secondary lysosomes. Autolysosome. It is formed during autophagy. Fusion between lysosome and autophagosome is termed autolysosome. Autophagosome sequesters damaged organelles, protein aggregates, and pathogens for degradation. It eliminates the cell debris, like injured or dead cells out of the cell via effigy. Functions of lysosomes. They are involved in intracellular digestion. Involved in extracellular digestion. For example, osteoclasts release lysosomal enzymes that break down the existing bone matrix. Involved in chronophagy, which is the degradation of excess secretory granules. Involved in development or metamorphosis. Example, degeneration of tadpole tail by cathepsins. Thyroglobulin is hydrolyzed by lysosomes to produce an active hormone thyroxine in thyroid gland. Involved in dissolution of blood clots. Provides nutrition during starvation. Involved in regression of structures that are periodically active. Examples include, uterus shrinks from 2.5 or 3.0 kilograms after birth to 50 grams. Malarian ducts form female reproductive structures but is degraded in males. Wolfian ducts form male reproductive structures but is degraded in females. Acrosome is a specialized lysosome that is involved in fertilization. Acrosome is a cap-like structure present in the anterior part of the sperm head. Lysosomes take part in natural defense of the body against foreign proteins, toxic substances, bacteria, and other microorganisms, as they fuse with phagosomes during phagocytosis. Lysosomes perform the key degradative function of autophagy, which refers to the disposal of obsolete parts of a cell, such as macromolecules, proteins, and organelles that are damaged and dysfunctional. Let's take a closer look at how lysosomes use their hydrolytic enzymes to destroy pathogens that enter the cell. The figure shown here illustrates the phagocytosis mechanism occurring in a macrophage. Primarily, a portion of the plasma membrane invaginates and engulfs a pathogenic bacterium. This invaginated portion with the internalized pathogen pinches itself off from the plasma membrane and forms a phagosome. Thereafter, this phagocytic vesicle fuses with a lysosome, and the engulfed pathogen is degraded by the hydrolytic enzymes present in lysosome. The exocytic vesicle exudates the undigested waste products to outside of the cell cytoplasm via exocytosis. Lysosomes are implicated in various diseases. Lysosomal changes and dysfunction have been correlated with the development of numerous diseases, such as rheumatoid arthritis, gout, black lung disease, silicosis, and asbestosis. Dysfunction of the lysosomes leads to lysosomal storage diseases. Any defect in or absence of a particular hydrolytic enzyme leads to accumulation of a particular undigested material, resulting in lysosome storage diseases. The tabular data shown here summarizes a few lysosomal storage diseases, caused by specific enzyme deficiency, and the material stored in lysosomes. Tay-Sachs disease, Gaucher disease, Pompa disease, neiman pick disease, Fabry disease. Hurler syndrome, Hunter syndrome, metachromatic leukodystrophy, crab disease, and cystinosis. Thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video also, click on the subscribe button, and hit on the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos.